Bangkok, a city of frenetic, non-stop, colourful life. We've got some time to spend here with Alex Alban, London-born, but definitely Thai at heart. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? All right. Are you looking for some... Uh... <laughs> Like some Westerners. Pit lane shorts. Some swimming gear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? Very good, very good. Good. Thank you. Thank you for surprising me. This is fantastic. God, it's hot here, isn't it? What's your favourite cuisine? I love Thai curries and uh -huh. Malaysian uh -huh. stuff, but I love it. I don't think you will want the super fishy one. You will just want like the quite clean tasting one, won't you? Some Thai favourite cup. Sam. What? You just said three. Yeah. You said three chilies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he just prepares it in a bag. Yeah, quite normal. Do you want to sit down and have a chat? Yeah. This is the best. Like, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Um, cheers, by the way. Cheers. I don't know how this works. Well, yeah. When we last went out for Thai food, I don't know if you remember, a few years ago, Clapham Common, that was when you were at Toro Rosso. And that was before the move to Red Bull. And a lot's happened since then. Yes, I'd say so, yeah. <laughs> Everything's had my ups, had my downs along the way. I don't know. And then later on that season, when you got the call to, to go to Red Bull, I remember everybody in our team was like, oh, yay, great, you know, Alex has got a, a, a Red Bull drive, fantastic. I think you replaced Pierre, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, secretly, I thought, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't I know can tell you, I, I, I had a kind of a similar reaction. Too soon. I had to take the opportunity, even if you don't feel ready or not. I guess maybe there's a bit of naivety to it, but there's also, you know, you could be stuck as a driver who never, who had one chance, could have gone up and then chose not to. And, and who's to say that you would have been offered a chance later on, if you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. At the time, um, Christian said to us, See, the thing with Alex is that he's almost too nice. Mm. Do you know what he means? Um, yeah, I do. I do. I think it's more about... Um, I was in a position where I felt like I needed to say yes to everything because I didn't want to give up my chance or, or be seen as someone I'm not. And, and in, in a way, like, you're just young. You, yeah. you, you want to, to, to get on with the people around you. You want to, to be in everyone's good books and you want to make sure that you're... Um, you're liked in the team and, and and that's just being young and, and kind of discovering the team, trying to fit in with the team. Looking at it, actually, it's all worked out pretty well because you had the year off and you found a, a nice home at Williams. But 10 points in the last two races. Thank you, yeah. A seventh and an eighth. Yeah. That's good. We had a good run. I think Monza was a bit more expected than Zandvoort was the true anomaly in the whole right. whole whole year so far because we kind of always in the races we scored points we've kind of expected, yeah. but then Monza you go into that weekend with quite a lot of expectation because you've just come from a good weekend in Zandvoort, yeah. and so Monza was more about execution and and trying to do the job. So I think in some ways Monza felt just as rewarding, if not more rewarding, than, than Zandvoort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So eat it with a bit of everything. So the Thai way is, is to put it on the spoon, not on the fork. Not on the fork, okay. Can I just <laughs> eat it onto the spoon like that? There you go. Can I now eat it? I'm desperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're dribbling, I can see. I've got you a, a final delicacy. Right. There's oh, bamboo worm no. and silkworms. <laughs> I'll go first, do you want okay. me to go first? Yeah, I do want you to go first. Okay, fine. Right. There we go. Which one are these? These are the bamboo ones. Hmm. They're oh. good, aren't they? Yeah, right. <laughs> they are good. Yeah. <laughs> right, so here we are, leaving the city. Uh, after we left last night, after you left, I went back to that clothes shop and I did buy the shirt. Did you not get a larger size? No, she said one size, one size, only one size. Only Tourist one size. size. <laughs> I like the way that you kind of found your character. I, I hate taking myself too seriously. Well, that's it. It's slightly irreverent, lighthearted, but, but super cool 
I think I've got the biggest head in Formula 1. No, George is bigger than yours. So I bring my hair down. <laughs> he brings his hair up. But I'm a family kind of person. So, I mean, you need a, some level of understanding, you know, to do your job, to talk about it, to explain it to the viewer. Can you imagine <laughs> answering the follow-up question? <laughs> Tell me where we're going. We're heading towards um, the Wax Kral, um orphanage. It's a huge orphanage, 2,000 children. The orphanage has its own school attached to it. Right. Um, it's like a little village. It's a, it's a whole micro city of orphans. Alex's fundraising for the Wat Sakral and the auctioning of his Thai elephant designed crash helmet last year raised enough money to build a new sports hall. And who better to officially open it? You always make me feel so welcome when I come here and I'm always so impressed with everything that you always do. You are my inspiration. I know you guys say I am yours, but um, everything you do here is amazing. Hock and tub. It's a very life-affirming day, actually, here. Yeah. You know, there's the reality of everyone's situation here. Yeah. But... You see there's hope. I mean, Thai people in general are very happy people, but you genuinely do believe it when you come here. Mm. And you are a hero to these, to these kids. Um, like, that, that kind of stuff, it feels strange to me. You know what? I think Christian was half right. <laughs> you are nice, <laughs> but not in, a, not in a bad way, actually, in, in the best way. Thank you. And it has nothing to do with your undoubted abilities as a racing driver and everything to do with a measure of the man that you are and that you're becoming. So don't give up. I think you're on, you're on the right track. Make these kids proud. Make, make them all proud. We will, for sure.